Welcome to Johnny's World. Hi, welcome back to Johnny's World. Today we'll be pruning this Hass avocado tree to a more manageable size. As you can see, it's very tall. It's probably over 20 feet tall at this point. Um, if you watch my prior video, you'll know that I planted a grafted Hass avocado tree three years ago. Now that grafted Hass avocado eventually died and this is the original stock that grew out of it. So um, I don't really know if it's a Hass avocado tree or not, but I mean, it is a seedling that just, uh, it's the original stock that just grew out. And, uh, and that being the case, I know I have to wait over 10 years likely to get any fruit. Now, I don't even know what type of fruit, uh, if it's, it will be any good or not. So I started grafting onto this tree about three months ago as well. But as you can see, this tree is just getting very tall, but it's very skinny. And although it's pushing out a little bit on top, it just has a proclivity just to get tall. But, it's, you know, with very low branches, um, sticking out it's just getting very tall but not bushy and if you see the bottom here it, there's very little branches coming out and uh, it's just a very sad looking tree that's just very tall and it just wants to keep growing taller I wouldn't be surprised if this tree eventually got to over 30 maybe even 40 feet tall and just because it's planted on a hillside and um, it, you know it'd be very hard to um, pick fruit off, off this tree later on so you know it, it's a very tall tree um, but you know I, like I said before I did start grafting onto this tree and uh, um, Hopefully the grafts will take. One of them has taken. So here's a Hass avocado uh, graft I did about two and a half months ago. I used plastic grafting tape. Uh, I'll eventually have to unwrap it, but it's still looking green. And hopefully all that will take. Now here's a Forte graft I did with buddy tape so luckily I don't need to take the tape off but I did this on November 15th here's a reed graft I did uh, three months ago and I took the plastic grafting tape off about two and a half weeks ago and as you can see it looks nice and green this has taken already um, it looks nice and green and what I did was I still left some of the, I put some buddy tape on the, the bottom there, but uh, besides that, I took off all the grafting tape. It looks really great. Now, this tree is tall, tall and skinny. As you could see, there's very little branches. It's not bushy, um, but it's tall and uh, it's time for, it's time to be topped off. So today I'm going to be using uh, one of my power tools, my reciprocating saw, my battery power reciprocating saw to top off this tree. I had to do a little bit of a mountain climb to get up here. So I'm going to probably cut it um, maybe right there. So it's still pretty tall. But I'm going to top it off probably right there. And I'm going to cut it in a 45 degree angle. So I'm going to cut it kind of like 45 degree angle right there. So when it rains and stuff, the water will just slide, slide down it. And it's still a pretty tall tree. And then I'm gonna prob I'm gonna just paint uh, paint the cut area, the top here, with uh, Ivy Organic Three in One Plant Guard. So I'm gonna use my reciprocating saw, and let's get this done. So I just cut the top off, and as you can see, I cut it in a 45 degree angle, and here's the 
top of the avocado tree trunk that I just cut with the reciprocating saw. So there it is. It's still a tall tree, but hopefully it'll get bushier and it won't just shoot up like that. Hopefully it'll just fill up. Cause as you can see, it's just long and just skinny and hopefully it'll fill up. So this is what the tree looks like after I pruned it down to size. It's still a tall tree, but now it's more manageable and hopefully it'll fill in uh, more in the bottom and just get bushier and wider. And uh, this is what the tree looks like at the top of the hill. As you can see, it is much more manageable. This is what I cut off and I took off all the leaves and I put it under the the different avocado tree to be used as mulch so I'm trying to use every bit of this as possible but uh, yeah this is what I cut off and uh, hopefully this tree gets bushier just wider and just fills in better but uh, yeah thank you very much for watching if you like this video if you like this channel please press the like and subscribe uh, thank you everyone cheers